Hello, I'm Ajay Kurian, and I'm a member of the retina service at Will's Eye Hospital. Today we're going to be talking about retinal detachments. There are three main types of retinal detachments. One is called a serous retinal detachment, which happens related to inflammation in the eye. That tends to be a less common type of retinal detachment. Another form of retinal detachment is a tractional retinal detachment. This tends to happen because of scar tissue that's pulling off the retina. This is also one of the, the lesser common types of retinal detachment. The most common type of retinal detachment is called a regmatogenous retinal detachment, which basically means that there's a tear in the retina that's letting fluid underneath the retina, causing the retinal detachment. This tends to happen because the jelly of the eye, which is called the vitreous, separates from the retina normally as a part of aging, but can be spurred on by things like injuries in the eye. And then that pulls too hard on the retina, causing a tear that allows fluid to enter underneath the retina. There's about a one in 300 lifetime risk for this regmatogenous retinal detachment, and it definitely needs attention from a retina specialist promptly. Some of the symptoms of a retinal detachment include flashes of light, like lightning going off, or floaters that you can see in your vision. A flash or a floater may not necessarily mean you have a retinal detachment, but it does mean that you should get checked out by an ophthalmologist so they can see what's going on and causing those symptoms. There's a few different ways that we can fix a retinal detachment, and a lot of it depends on where the tears are and how big the retinal detachment is. And so the decision about which surgery is the right surgery or which procedure is the right procedure for this retinal detachment is determined by the specialist who's seeing you. They can talk to you about the different options and go over the, the pros and cons of each different procedure or approach for the retinal detachment surgery. The retinal detachment surgeries have a pretty good success rate. It has about an 85 to 90 percent success rate, but that does mean that a little bit more than one in 10 people are going to need more surgery, and that's usually because of a scar forming process that happens after retinal detachment called proliferative vitroretinopathy, which results in scarring tissue that pulls the retina off afterwards and requires more surgery in the future. In terms of vision recovery from the retinal detachment, it's very dependent on what parts of the retina are affected by the retinal detachment. If the center part of the retina is not affected, we expect the vision recovery to be pretty good. If the center part of the retina is detached, then the vision recovery is variable and it's more dependent on how you heal afterwards because the cells of the retina are damaged from that retinal detachment and there can be variability in how much recovery is there. The most important thing is that if you have these symptoms of flashes of light or new rush of floaters to get checked out to make sure that there's no problems related to a retinal detachment that are causing them. Thank you very much. This is Ajay Kurian from Will's Eye Hospital.